Hello, and welcome to Painting with Heidi. Today, we are going to paint a future leader dog puppy. The things you're going to need is a canvas or something to paint on, your favorite paint colors, I have mine in here, some paint brushes, and a cup of water. I'm using acrylic paint, but you can use washable paint, you can use watercolors, whatever you want. So, the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my background whatever color that I want. So I'm gonna paint mine light blue. So first I had to mix up light blue by adding white paint to blue paint so that it got a little bit lighter. And you know what? I'm gonna make mine even a little lighter than this because I want my background to match the bandana I'm gonna put on my puppy because it's gonna be a future leader dog puppy. So I'm gonna take my big paintbrush that I have so that I can paint the most part of my canvas at once and I'm just gonna go back and forth and I'm gonna paint this background. I'm just gonna cover it all up. I wanna make sure that it's nice and covered. go painting my background I want a nice even coat so I'm going all the way from the right to the left all the way across that painting nice even coat there make sure that's all covered so if you have a canvas, the canvas is called a wraparound canvas. So that means it won't need a frame. We can just use a command strip or something and put it right on the wall. So if you have a canvas like me, you can also paint your edges just like this. That way you won't have to put it in a frame. And it'll look nice and finished when you're all done. So I'm almost done with this. Oh, very good. It's looking great. Great. All right. Look at that. There we go. Our background's all done. Make it look nice and even all the way from the left to the right. Paint all my edges here. Great. So before I can paint my puppy onto this canvas, what I have to do is I have to make sure that it's dry. So I've got a handy dandy blow dryer, but you could just take a break and eat a snack or something like that. But I'm gonna blow dry mine so that it goes super soft. My puppy's a little curious. Good boy. Good job, puppy. Oh, they're all very curious. I don't know, maybe your dog likes blow dryers too. The one in the back is useful. I gotta blow dry this all up. Oh my goodness. You can see it's getting dry because it's changing color. The paint is lighter when it's dry. And it's done. The best view in the house. Good job. <laughs> All right, it looks like it's almost dry. Let's see. Yep, my background is all dry. So, once your background is all dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my puppy on with chalk. So if I put chalk on acrylic paint, what's really cool is, did you see that white line? Oh, I drew on it with chalk, but that's not quite what I want to do. So all I have to do is dip my finger in some water and then I can erase it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my puppy on. And this way, before I paint, I can make sure I like how my puppy looks. Because I could re, I could erase it and start again if I don't like it. So to draw my puppy on, you can either print out the template that I'm going to post. Or you could draw it yourself. It's up to you. If you print the template, then you can trace it. So for his head, I'm just going to make kind of like an oval, and then it's going to come in here and swoop up. So just like that. See how he's got like two little cheeks right here? His head's kind of square. He's going to be a funny looking puppy. And then I'm going to do a half circle right there. That's his chin. And then a little heart shape for his nose. That's gonna be my puppy's nose. And then I have to do two eyes, two circles for eyes, and little eyebrows, just like that. And then I've gotta draw some ears on this puppy. There's my one ear, and then the second ear. And then my puppy's gonna have a bandana because he's a future leader dog. There's his bandana. And future leader dogs, there's like another little square on the bandana too. Perfect. And then I'm gonna draw his back end. So just a curved line like that. And then coming off of his body, I'm gonna draw another line and curve up. That's one foot. And then another curved line, that's two. And then a little tail, like a banana. There we go. I've got my puppy all drawn on there. So again, you could trace it on with the template we're going to post, or you can draw your own puppy. It doesn't matter. But it's, what's important is that we painted the background first, and now we're going to paint our puppy over the top. So I'm going to take another one of my brushes, and my puppy's going to be yellow because I've got a lot of yellow future leader dogs. You saw the one little puppy. You saw I've got three yellow dogs here. So I'm going to make mine yellow. So what's important with the kind of paint that I have is that I want to make sure I mix a little bit of white in with my yellow because yellow is a lighter color than blue. So it's not going to cover up... Um, it's not going to cover up that blue very well if I just use yellow. But white is kind of like a nice color that covers everything up. So I'm going to add some white into my yellow. And then I'm also going to add a tinge of brown because the yellow that I have is like very lemony. And that's not a natural color for a dog to be. So I'm going to put a little brown in my yellow too. So then I've got that all mixed up. So what I'm going to do is I've got kind of like a, a smaller, skinnier brush. It looks like this. I'm going to dip that in my paint first, and I'm going to outline my puppy. And then I'm going to take a big brush and paint the inside. So I'm going to outline my puppy here. Oh, that's looking great. I outlined his tail. Then I'm going to outline his feet. I'm not going to paint where the bandana is because I'm going to have to paint over that in a second. So I'm gonna, oh, I forgot. I was supposed to be outlining. Silly me. So I'm going to outline his feet here and his belly. A nice outline. Whee and his bandana. So I've got that nice outline going. Then I've got to do the same with his face. Ooh. And his chin. There we go. So I've got an outline. So that ensures that I've got nice lines, right? So then once I've got a basic outline, I can take a bigger brush and I can go ahead and just fill in all this space. So that saves me some time so I can make my painting nice and quick. 
also it helps the paint from looking streaky because I'm just doing like one big stroke. And with acrylic paint, the more strokes you do, the more it takes the paint off. There we go. Look at that. That's a great looking puppy, huh? He's getting all his fur on him. I'm gonna go over my tail again. Cause it wasn't looking really good. Beautiful, and then it's going to seem silly, but I'm going to have to paint over his face. But it's okay. We can chalk back on those features once it's dry. There we go. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Almost got it. There we go. Filling in my whole puppy. Nice and thick coat. So like I said, with acrylic paint, the more coats you put on before it dries for a minute, then it just starts taking the paint off. So what I'm gonna do next is in the middle of my future leader dog's bandana, I put a little square for white because that's what they have. They have a little square in the center of their bandana. And in that little square, is where it usually says future leader dog. So I'm gonna paint that white. I'm sorry, it's not a square, it's a triangle. Clearly I don't know my shapes very well. So I'm gonna paint that in with white. Anyway, then I'm gonna grab my blow dryer. I'm gonna blow dry my puppy again. My puppy's very curious about the blow dryers. He's never seen one. What a good puppy. Nice job, baby. He's doing. Perfect. So then I'm going to actually put a second coat on my puppy because he looks a little bit streaky. So if you want to, you can put a second coat on your puppy so that he doesn't look like very streaky and he covers up all the blue background paint. So I'm gonna paint over my puppy with yellow again. And I don't need to be so specific. The edges looked pretty good. So I'm just gonna do the middle to make sure the middle looks nice and covered. There you go. It's like I'm painting Simba. Simba. There we go, very good. Look at that nice yellow puppy. He looks great. All right, so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some more light blue. Do you remember how to make light blue? It's blue and white. Blue and white make light blue. So I want mine to be even lighter than the background color. So I added more white than I did last time to make my light blue. So I've got a very light blue now and I'm gonna paint my puppy's future leader dog scarf. There we go. Look at that, that looks great. Wow, there we go. Remember yours, if you don't have a blow dryer at home, that's okay, you don't have to blow dry. You can just take breaks while your paint dries or you can fan it with a paper plate or something like that. There's my puppy's future leader dog bandana. Unfortunately, I didn't have any red paint, but usually future leader dog bandanas have a little bit of red paint over around the outside. And then they have in that white square, it says future leader dog and there's a paw print. So I'm gonna put the paw print. It's got a one circle and then it's got 
four little dots around the paw print like that. And then this is a pretty small space. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit future leader dog. So I'm just gonna put some little scribbles like it's, like it's writing. How about that? That seems good. Now my puppy's still a little wet and I have to re-chalk some stuff on, so I'm gonna blow dry it again. Uh, that looks pretty good. He looks pretty dry now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re chalk on some of this stuff that we had before. So he's going to have a leg there, right? And this was his other leg. I hope you can see that. Oh, goodness. I don't know that you can. So I'm going to move a little closer. Can you see my white chalk lines? Really great. There we go. Perfect. So that's his little feet, right? There we go. And then he had a little nose right up in here. And then his ears were like this. And he had two eyes just like that. And eyebrows too, he had eyebrows. Okay, you can see that. Perfect, lovely. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of an outline on my puppy so that we can see some of his features. I'm gonna use very dark yellow. So to make a very dark yellowy brown color, I'm gonna take brown and yellow and mix them together to get like a darkish yellowish brown color. It's gonna look like, ooh, like that. And then I'm gonna draw on my puppy's legs with this color, whoop. And the other leg. And I'm gonna go down the side too. Outline his little body. And if you wanna make your puppy a different color, you could make him a different color. So if you made your puppy black, then you could do this with gray. Or you could make your puppy like a light black if you have a black lab, and then you could do this with a different color as well. Um, also, if you don't have a future leader dog, this doesn't have to be a future leader dog puppy. You could make this look like your dog too. You could put spots on it. You could give him some hair. My dogs just have short hair. I want it to look like my future leader dog puppies. All right, and then we're gonna go around his face just like that and up there. We've got to go around his chin too, right? Oh, there's his chin. And I think that we're gonna make his eyebrows this brown. Oh, there we go, he's got a little eyebrows. Little eyebrows. Oh, look at how cute that is, that's adorable. Perfect. Looks pretty good. All right, and then I'm gonna dip in my black paint and I'm gonna color in his nose. I'm gonna color in his nose with my black paint. And I'm gonna, there we go, there we go. And then I'm gonna color in his two eyes too. He's got two little, you could make the eyes brown too if your dog's eyes are more brown. He looks a little worried, but I'm sure he's a really happy little puppy. Make sure our eyes are a little more even. Look at that. So, last but not least, we've got to give our puppy some life. So to give him a little bit of life, what we gotta do is put little white dots in his eyes so it looks like there's something reflect, some light life reflecting out of his eyes. So to make perfect little circles, I dipped, instead of using the front end of my paintbrush, I'm using the back end, which is a little silly, 
but I just dip that right in the paint, that background, and then I'm gonna get a perfect circle when I dot this in my puppy's eye. Look at that, that's perfect. And then I gotta make sure I didn't get black on the end of my brush, and if I didn't, I can use it on the other eye too. There we go. Our puppy is all complete, but remember, if you wanna put like spots on yours so it looks like your dog or something like that, you can. Or if you want to give him a collar instead of a bandana, that would be great. All right. I hope you all have super fun. I'm going to do actually one more thing. I'm going to put a little, a little dash on my puppy's nose. All right. Perfect. I hope you guys have fun.